Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Hello, good evening. Hi, hi, me. Hello, Amilcar. Hello. Hi, Maggie. Good hi, evening. Kevin. Good evening. Hi, Ileana. Hello, Luis. Hello, Lisette. How are you guys? How are you doing? Good to see you again, guys. We will wait for the rest of the participants to join and we will start the class. I can see Marielos is joining. Tired, really? Yes. Even though, oh, it's Friday, right? <laughs> for, um, I mean, in this class, I feel like if it is Tuesday, <laughs> But yes, it's Friday. I just realized right now. <laughs> Believe it or not, tomorrow is my day off. What about when what about your day off? When is your day off? Guys, when is it? Hello, Christian. Hi, Alexandra. Oh. Hi, Julio. How are you? Hi, Fatima. Hi, Amir Amilcar. Estefania, hello. Mm, let's see, my bed, Julio. Okay, great. Thank you for letting me know. And Julio. Hi, Lizette, welcome. Hi, Jessica. Oh, I can see Jessica is here today. Hello, Jessica. Good Jessica. evening. Good evening. Hello, um, teacher. Hello, Jessica. Uh, le quería preguntar si se podía quedar el día de ahora en la sesión uno a una. Sí, está bien. Ah, ok. Gracias, Jessica. Al terminar la clase nos quedamos diez minutitos, please. Ok. Thank you. Okay, guys, I will go through the attendance list. Just allow me one moment. And I will go through the attendance list. Let's see. Okay. Um, Angel Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Cristian José López Feras. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del CID. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. 
Jessica Alcarven Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Um, Jonathan Alexand Alexis González Torres. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Me. Present. Uh, Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Iliana Carolina Cardel Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Hi. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, just one moment. Guys, solamente quería recordarles que al momento de pasar la lista, yo sé que pues la, algunos están de oyentes, porque en ese momento puede que estén manejando, estén haciendo otra cosa, yo los entiendo. Eh, pero fíjense que sí se, le, se pide que, que digan presente, ¿verdad? Entonces solamente les voy a pedir eso para tenerlo en cuenta, porque fíjense que a veces yo lo veo en la clase, pero de las tres asistencias que paso, ninguna me dicen presente. Entonces ese queda como que no estuviera presente. No porque yo no le ponga la asistencia, sino que pues porque al final, guys, según Insafor, eh, la forma como usted va a estar presente es diciendo presente de manera oral y encendiendo la cámara, ¿verdad? Eh, lo de encender la cámara, sí eh, lo cuenta mucho Insafor también. Más sin embargo, guys, a veces yo entiendo de que si vienen manejando o tienen algún inconveniente, pues es entendible cuando me lo han dicho, ¿verdad? Pero si a veces no tengo notificación de ustedes ni nada y, este, y, y estoy um, mencionándolos en la lista de asistencia y no me corresponde, entonces créanme que ahí sí ya no puedo hacer nada. Entonces si no se escucha la palabra presente, sí yo realmente no les podría ayudar en ese caso, porque realmente, como les digo, la clase está grabada, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues, aunque yo igual, pues, eh, podría ponerle presente, pero con ese que auditan las clases, entonces nada más ayudarme con eso, guys. De lo contrario, les agradezco mucho porque siempre están en comunicación conmigo y siempre me dicen cuando están ocupados y, y tienen algo que hacer, yo siempre los entiendo. Y siempre y cuando ustedes se pongan al día con las tareas, vean la clase o después se reincorporen con muchísimo gusto. Pero sí, solamente me ayudan con eso, please. Um, siempre decir presente en la asistencia para que no les quede como cero. Sí, así que pues sí, eso le quería recordar y muchísimas gracias, guys. Bueno, guys, muchísimas gracias. Déjeme contestar un mensajito por acá. Un momento. Ah. 
Okay, muy bien. Uh, let me share the screen right now, guys, and we will start with the class, okay? Deme un segundito y comparto la pantalla so we can start. Just allow me one moment. Okay, here I have it. Okay, pues voy a compartir la pantalla, guys. One moment. Okay, here you have. This is the class number eight. Wow, class number eight already. We're almost in the middle of the course, guys. So uh, the topic for today's class is giving instructions practice, okay? Uh, before going to this topic, I would like just to ask guys, if there's any doubt, any questions about their is and their are, either for affirmative, either for negative, or either for questions, guys. No sé si respecto a esto tienen alguna, alguna duda, guys, con respecto a este tema, para que la podamos solventar en este momento, ya que pues ahora vamos... Bueno, sí, hemos decidido cerrar con este tema, ¿verdad? Para los que tengan algún, alguna eh, pregunta de cómo hacer eh, las affirmatives, las negative o las questions. Quisiera hacer un poquito de recap con respecto a eso. O un um, on review. ¿Están bien hasta ahí, guys? O podríamos hacer más ejemplos o tal vez obtener, bueno, tratar de, de, de mencionarles más ejemplos. Sí, más ejemplos, teacher. Más ejemplos. Ok, ¿desearían tener más ejemplos de afirmative, negative o de questions? Mm. Vamos a tratar de sacar algunos ejemplos ahorita, rapidito, guys, antes de pasar al otro tema, porque este tema sí creo que es un poquito eh, más, no difícil realmente, pero un poquito más eh, dificultoso que el otro que viene, ¿verdad? Que es un poquito más en general. Vaya, vale, miren, entonces vamos a hacer acá... Eh, Exercise, I mean, examples about affirmative, negative, uh, yes, no question, and WH question, okay? You will help me with this. Affirmative, negative, yes, no, questions, and WH questions, okay? Okay. So um, I will really need your uh, participation guys so we can go ahead and, and provide more examples regarding this topic. I mean, as a review. So please help me out with the examples. Let's go ahead and make the affirmative form. We will put right now um, the formula for making the affirmative. Basically in the affirmative we will use there is, There is or there are, right? That's going to be depending on the on the person that you're talking about. There is or there are. Plus, let me get a moment. Plus, a noun, right? Plus a noun. Um, or it can be nouns. Depending if it is uh, if it is singular or plural. Uh, complement. That will be like the formula for making the affirmative form, either with there is and there are, okay? Either or. So let's go ahead and highlight the formula, okay? And let's make an example. Let's make an example. Uh, let's see, let's make an example with there is. There is
there is a um, cup of coffee on the table. All right. There is a cup of coffee on the table. There is, that will be a singular form, right? So there is, um, that will be the first part plus a noun. The noun will be a cup of coffee, okay? That will be like a kind of noun phrase. Va, va a ser como una frase, eh, um, una, una fra, frase hecha de un nombre. ¿Por qué? Porque contiene más de una palabra. So that will be the noun. Let's say the noun. And on the table, that will be the complement, okay? So there is a cup of coffee on the table. Let's go ahead and make the, um, the negative form for this sentence. Oh, sorry. Let's make another um, in, the, in the plural form. There are. Who can help me with giving me an example with there are, guys? Who wants to help me? Mm -hmm. Anyone that can help me giving me uh, the plural form? Of the of the first question, I mean of the first sentence. What is a plural form? How will be the how will be the plural form of, form of these? There are there are cups. Of, cups. There are cups, right? Of cups. coffee. Great. There are sorry for my spelling. Okay, there are cups of coffee on the table, right? And that will be and um on plural form so there are cup cup of cups of coffee on the table in this uh in this option remember the word cups gives you the plural form that uh, make you notice that here is in plural okay and in this example ah the article the article ah gives you the the uh, the hint in order to know that this is, and also a cup, the whole word, uh, it gives you the, the hint for you to notice that here we have a singular form, okay? So that's very important. Okay, so what about the negative form? How would I make this negative? How would I make this negative, guys? There are in cups. Of coffee. Very good, and I'm sorry because I should copy both of them because we're talking with singular and plural. So they aren't, right? There aren't cups of coffee on the table. Very good. What about if I made the number one? How should I make the number one in negative? There isn't. There isn't. Very good. And that will be contracted, right? There isn't a cup of coffee on the table. Good job, guys. All right, let me see. All right, so let's go with the yes, no question. How would I make the yes, no question, guys? How would I make the yes, no question form? Let me raise this so I can... For example, if we are talking about the first example. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, let's talk about this example. How would I make this in a question, in question form? Is Both there. Is there, right? So with simple has the is, I mean the ver at the beginning, okay? And we say is there, okay? Is there, and by the way, I'm sorry that I put, I didn't put the formula here. The formula for negative is there is uh, R plus um, not, okay? Not. Not will be the no contracted form, okay? But if you want to say it in a contracted form, that will be isn't and aren't, remember, okay? So let's put the, formula for the interrogative form, the yes, no question. 
Allow me just a moment. Sorry, Jonathan, I know you already answered, Beth. Here we have a problem. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Okay, here I have it. I need to get more, more space here. And there are a lot of mosquitoes in my feet. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, pero de verdad hay un montón de zancudito, perdón. Y no me alcanza el tiempo para matarlos. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, uh, let's see with the yes, no question. The formula is, we put it at the beginning, is or are, and then there. Noun, complement, and question mark. Simple as that, okay? That's it. That's the only thing that we need here. So, is there plus a noun, is there a cup of coffee on the table? Question mark. Uh, what, would be, what would be the answer for this, guys? How would you answer that? How would you answer that, guys? What are the two options for you to answer that question? The first one is, Yes, there is, or oh, no, no, there yes, isn't. there is, very good, uh, or no. There Sorry. isn't. Oh my God, there isn't, good job, great job. Okay, let me put it in red color, so you will be identified, okay. Great job. Okay, what about in the second one? How would I make this sentence in a yes, no question form, guys? How would I make it in a yes, no question form? Are there? Are there, right? Good job, Marco. Yes. Okay, so we put the R at the beginning, right? According uh -huh. to the formula, are there? cups of coffee on the table all right and the answer how will it be how would it be the answer here guys no there aren't let's just start no. with yes sorry sorry uh Marcos, yes. Let's, yes there yes. are right yes there are or no there no there aren't, aren't. No, there aren't. great job Perfect. So those will be the yes, no question. Now let's go to the WH question. How will we make the WH question? Let's see. Uh, let's copy this so it will be easier for us to do it. Okay. How would I make those in WH question? Mm -hmm. What do you think? How many is there? Great, perfect. Thank you, Mabel. So how many, right? How many is the, the one that you ask for answering there is and there are? That's it, okay? That's the principle. That's the WH question that you use. But if you ask me, teacher, but can I use another WH question? Of course, you can use another WH question, but you will ask maybe something else, right? May not how much or how many, in that case, how many, right? You will ask some something else, but yes, you can use more WH questions. For example, you can say, why is there a cup of coffee on the table? ¿Por qué está una taza de café en la, en, la, en la mesa? Claro que puede incluir las otras WH questions. Usted puede hacer oraciones con esa. Pero eh, el hecho de porque yo enfatizo mucho, guys, eh, el how many es porque esa es la pregunta que se hace de cuántos hay. Esa es la pregunta exacta para there is and there are. Pero usted puede utilizar otra WH question, ¿sí? 
Depende de qué es lo que usted quiera preguntar. En este caso vamos a hacer con una con how many. Ok, so that's going to be how many, right? How many. And then, guys. Oh, here let's modify this. Um, how many. And we delete this. Acuérdense, guys, que la WH question, usted siempre le va a dar información. Por eso también son llamadas information question, porque a usted le da más información y usted pide más información con ellas. Entonces, como por ejemplo, cuando usted dice por qué, why, usted sabe que la respuesta va a ser because y va a dar una razón, ¿sí? Usted cuando pregunta where, ¿Dónde? Usted sabe que usted va a obtener un lugar. In the hospital, on the floor, at the top, in the school, etc. Esa es la respuesta de cada WH. For example, when, cuando. Ok, when, in the morning, um, tomorrow, next week, etc. So that's the answer for when. Entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta para how many? There is and there are. Por eso, en la pregunta que usted haga, no va a poner esa respuesta. Usted va a decir, how many, how many, y como se ha preguntado cuántas, ¿sí? How many cups, sorry, how many cups of coffee are there on the table, ¿sí? How many cups of coffee How many plus nouns plus are or is, dependiendo, ¿verdad? En ese caso le vamos a dejar el are porque estamos hablando de many, ¿ok? So how many plus noun, el noun es este, cup of coffee, cups of coffee, sorry, plus are, ¿ok? And then the complement, plus the complement, yes. So, how many plus nouns plus are plus complement? So, we say are, are there, sorry, there, there was missing there here. Are there and then the complement. So, we say how many cups of coffee are there on the table? Usted puede omitir muchas de las veces el complement y solo puede decir how many are there. ¿Cuántas hay ahí? O cuántas hay, ¿sí? Pero en algunas ocasiones usted pone un complemento, que en este caso, para ser más específico, decimos on the table. How many cups of coffee are there on the table? ¿Cuál va a ser la respuesta de esto, guys? What will be the answer? There are two cups of coffee. Ok, great. There are two cups of coffee, right? On the table. Perfect. Okay, that will be in case you have a plural, a plural uh, noun. But what if you have one cup of coffee? What if you have one cup of coffee, guys? How would you answer if you have just one cup of coffee? There is one cup of coffee. Exactly. There is one cup of coffee on the table. So here that will be dependent on your answer. Okay? Aquí usted lo va a hacer singular o plural dependiendo de su respuesta, guys. De, dependiendo de la existencia de, ese, de esa cosa de la que usted quiere saber si hay existencia, valga la redundancia. So, how many cups of coffee are there on the table? There are two cups of coffee on the table. That will be the plural form in case you have more than one cup of coffee. But if it is in singular, you said there is one cup of coffee on the table. So this answer will vary depending on your answer. Esto va a depender dependiendo de, de, de lo que hay disponible o de lo que hay en existencia. ¿sí? Pero la pregunta siempre va a ser así. How many cups of coffee are there on the table? Okay. 
So, um, yeah. O sea, que, o sea que donde dice how many, no puedo decir is, is, is there, entonces. No, no, porque acuérdese que usted está preguntando acá cuántas, usted lo pone en español, cuántas, eh, cuántas tazas de café hay en, el, en, la, en la mesa. Pero gracias, Marcos, thank you for bringing it back. No sé cómo lo vamos a poner acá, déjeme ver, lo vamos a hacer un poquito más pequeño. Porque, ¿qué tal si yo quiero hacer una con singular? Y esta es una pregunta para ustedes, guys. Cuando nosotros preguntamos how much, ¿en qué, ¿en qué momento nosotros hacemos la pregunta con el how much? Bueno, uh -huh. ahí eh, yo uso un contable noun. Great, when you use uncountable nouns. Great job, Jaime. So guys, let me ask you, is coffee countable or is uncountable? Coffee is uncountable. Coffee is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Sure. Coffee is uncountable. Cup of coffee is countable. Good. So how how do you call cups of? Not countable. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you call how do you call this guys? ¿Se acuerdan cómo cómo le llaman a esto? Containers. Unidades de medida o o containers. Good job. Yes. So that is the way of made the uncountables countables, okay? Uncountables countables. Esta es la manera con unidad de medidas o con um, containers. Usted puede hacer una, um, un producto o una cosa de incontable. La puede pasar para contable. Esa es la forma que usted la puede contar. Acá decimos how many porque nosotros estamos especificando las tazas de café, ¿ok? Eso sí se cuenta. Pero ¿qué tal si yo quiero preguntar cuánto café hay? Um, oh my God, ¿cuánto café hay on the table? ¿Cómo hago esa pregunta? ¿Cuánto café hay en la mesa? I mean, on the, uh, en la mesa. Uh -huh. How would I say that? Okay, how, how, much? how much? Good job. Great. So, entonces, teacher, si ¿sí tenemos la manera de cómo utilizar how much? Claro que sí. Vamos a hacer este ejemplo. Y gracias, eh, Marcos, por traerlo acá. How much? Okay, how much cup of coffee? Are there on the table? Are there on the table? Is that correct? Or how would I say that? How much? Cup of cups of coffee or how much coffee? Without cups. Without cups, right? Porque esto lo hacía contable. Entonces yo ahora en general quiero saber cuánto café hay. Pero como el café no se puede contar, ok. Sino que necesito una unidad de medida, un container para ser contado. Entonces yo digo, how much coffee are there on the table? Y ahí quiero hacerles una pregunta. Y esto ya ustedes lo estudiaron. Para uncountable nouns, guys, ¿qué utilizamos? There is o there are? Para uncountable. There is. There is. Good job. So, Marcos, aquí vamos a ocupar el there is. ¿Ok? Aquí si ocupamos el there is. Acá le voy a poner uncountable, ok, para que nos recordemos que el there is en, eh, en este tipo de preguntas lo ocupamos para uncountable, so how much coffee is there on the table, y siempre estoy ocupando there is and there are, probablemente en la clase anterior no lo mencioné, 
pero gracias a Marcos lo pudimos traer como un ejemplo que sí podemos hacer esa pregunta. Acuérdese que podemos hacer todas las WH questions dependiendo de lo que usted quiera preguntar, pero también ese sí se toma en cuenta. Entonces, how much coffee is there on the table? What would be the answer, guys? Aquí puede variar la, la, la respuesta de hecho y puede ser la misma que la que está ahí de hecho. How much coffee is there on the table? Usted puede decir, eh, ¿qué pasa? Ok, la, la, la diferencia entre estas dos preguntas es la siguiente. En la primera, la persona que preguntó cuántas tazas de café había en la mesa, ya sabía que habían tazas de café y ya sabía que se iban a servir eh, la bebida en tazas de café. Pero en la segunda, la persona que preguntó no tenía ni siquiera idea en qué se iban a servir las tazas. Solo quería preguntar cuánto café había para los invitados en la mesa. ¿Me entienden esas esa, esa dos diferencias, guys? ¿Yes? ¿Me entienden yes. esas dos? Ok. Entonces, acá depende de la perspectiva de la persona que pregunte. Pero yo puedo responder lo mismo. Entonces me, me pueden preguntar, how much coffee is there on the table? There are two cup of, cups of coffee on the table. ¿Ok? O si no, yo puedo decir, ¿verdad? Intentando ser un poquito, eh, variando más, sorry, variando más la respuesta, yo puedo decir, trayéndolo en otro contexto, yo puedo decir, there is... Um, a pound. Do you remember what is the meaning of pound? What is the meaning of pound, guys? Mm -hmm. Libras. Yes. Entonces puedo decir, there is a pound. There is a pound of coffee on the table. Okay. Entonces ahí depende de la perspectiva. Acá yo para variar la respuesta lo hice así. Okay. Para variar, guys. Entonces sería, how much coffee is there on the table? Para uncountable se utiliza is there, ¿ok? There are two cups of coffee on the table. Teacher, ¿pero por qué estás respondiendo con plural si la pregunta era con singular? Porque ahí va a depender, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de la existencia, ahí va a depender la existencia, sorry, del producto o de la cosa que usted aquí está contando, ¿ok? Y en la segunda respuesta dice, there is a pound of coffee on the table. Ahí ya variando toda la idea que traemos, traemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, quiere decir, guys, que acá vamos a cambiar la fórmula para la de abajo. Vamos a cambiarla acá. Y yo les voy a mandar esta captura hoy. Vamos a ponerle how much, right? Porque esta es una pregunta con how much. Ok, sorry, how much? How much? ¿Saben qué es lo que vamos a hacer aquí? Vamos a ponerle countable nouns a esto, ok? Countable nouns, ok? ¿Qué les parece? Y aquí a la misma fórmula, a la misma fórmula, sorry, le voy a poner uncountable nouns, ok? Y aquí le cambio el is, ¿verdad? Porque el is o el there is se ocupa siempre para uncountable nouns. Entonces, how much plus uncountable nouns plus is there plus complement plus question mark. ¿Ok? Mientras que en la otra fórmula era con how many, el how many se ocupa para, un count, para countable. ¿Ok? Countable nouns are there plus complement. Y aquí están las dos oraciones, las respuestas, la pregunta y las respuestas de cada uno. Is there on... Mm -hmm. So, yes. Guys, questions about this? I like that review, guys. I really like this review. Me gustó mucho este review porque pudimos aclarar esos temas que ayer no los pudimos aclarar y podemos ahondarnos más en la situación 
en el tema, perdón, y además de eso tocamos de nuevo un tema que habíamos visto anteriormente que era, que era el countable and uncountable nouns. Guys, preguntas, questions? Sorry that I switched to Spanish, but I wanted to make sure that it, that is clear, ¿ok? Le voy a pasar esta captura, una captura uh, de pantalla a su al grupo para que tengan eso. Guys, questions? Teacher. Or is clear or is is more complicated, teacher. It's like horchata. Before it was like water and now it is like horchata, teacher. Why did you explain it that? No, no, no. Okay, guys. So what do you think? Dígame, Sabrina. Sí, teacher. En sí, el, el there are y el there is significan como hay o están, ¿verdad? Entonces, Exacto. hay. Entonces, pero por el hecho del there, que en otras ocasiones tiene el uso de ahí, ¿verdad? There. Ajá, ahí hay. Ajá. Entonces, si yo quiero decir que cuántas diferentes cosas hay aquí, digo, how many... How many cup of coffee are there here? Así. Are there, en este caso, are there. Y si yo, si yo quiero usar here. Usar here? Ah, Para entonces si ya sustituyo el there por el here. Para no, ser más, por... más uh, específica, sí. Usted lo puede ocupar. Are here. Are here. Are here. Are here. Oh, okay. uh -huh. okay. El que más se utiliza si es there. there. Uh -huh. Pero puedo ocupar el ah, okay. here, no hay problema. Sí, Sabrina, ah, okay. continúe. Sí, Iba sí, solamente era eso. Quería saber. Sí, pero después, sí, sí, lo entendí. Entonces, cambio, ¿verdad? El there por el here para ser más específica. Sí, ah, si okay. usted lo quiere ocupar así, sí. El here. Oh. Lo puedo ocupar porque, eh, sí, ¿verdad? El there es como, lo utilizamos como en conversaciones. Cuando sí se habla de existencia, así como usted lo dijo, pero si usted quiere decir más específica aquí, usted dice here en vez de there, ¿verdad? Así que sí, lo puedo hacer, Sabrina. So, any other question, guys? Ya les mandé esta imagen para que lo tengamos ahí. Y las yellow ones are the formulas, ¿ok? The yellow ones are the formulas. If there is a misspelling word, guys, sorry. Sorry if I misspelled something there and I didn't realize or we didn't realize. Sorry for that, but we try to do it here, right? We did this by ourselves, okay? We didn't copy that. We create that. We create it, okay? So, okay. If there is no questions, guys, I can go to the next topic, okay? Uh, we have a reading and a speaking practice. Let's listen to a conversation in the page 23 and let's complete some exercises, okay? Now we'll be, we will come back to the speaking time. That is time to, uh, to speak more, okay? So go to the, this page, page 23. We will go ahead and practice this conversation right now just to listen the pronunciation. Later on, you will practice with your partner and you will uh, resolve the diagram of the Rex facilities and identify the different places. There are different places in, the, in your workplace, okay? Like for example, we have production area, we have reception area, we have planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restrooms, exit, and parking. That will be vary. Esto va a variar. That will be vary in all the workplace places. Okay. So, but before going to this diagram or the facilities in that specific company let's uh, try to listen to this conversation and try to practice it okay let's see uh, I will read it and let's repeat after me okay let's repeat after me let's practice the pronunciation um, that will be a conversation between Walter and Mary 
Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Repeat after me. Good, Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It's, a it's a pleasure to, in, <coughs> to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Great. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am Mary. I am and I am providing some safety today. instruction today. Tell us about that, Mrs. Mary. Tell us about, tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. Wear a helmet, Wear a helmet all the time. Walk yellow. between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the air plugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. And don't important not to get close to real area. areas. Okay, let's go ahead and practice some words. Guys, at the moment that you practice with your classmate today, uh, we will work in that way. I will ask you to please to write down all the mispronunciated words. So your partner will have to write down all the mispronunciated words, sorry, that you hear from your partner, okay? You will make the list and then you will correct your partner. So that's why you need to know the pronunciation, okay? Necesito que vean bien la pronunciación porque al momento de que ustedes practiquen con su pareja, usted lo va a corregir, ¿ok? Y lo va a corregir de la mejor manera, no de la que no es, guys. So, write down the mispronunciated words, va a escribir las palabras que no se pronunciaron bien y se las va a decir como las, va, las tiene que decir su compañero. Usted va a ser your teacher, ¿ok? Both of them. So let's repeat again with me, okay? Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Are you repeating? Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Hello, everybody. Hello, I am Mary. everybody. I, I am, am providing Mary and I am providing today. some safety instructions today. Okay, um, tell us about that, Mrs. Mary. Tell us about that, Mrs. Mary. Mr. Mary. Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, walk with, between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the air plugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the air clothes all the time. It is important not to get close to the area. Solo escuché como a cinco, quizás repitiendo, guys. ¿Qué tal si hacemos un ejercicio que cada uno lee la conversación? Y el que diga una mispronunciated words, le ponemos un, 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 un castigo. Castigado todo. Ve, hasta Milcar dice. 
<laughs> un punishment ahí, ¿verdad? Un punishment por, el, por cada mispronunciated word. Do you want to do it? <laughs> no, guys, okay, I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and work together in, in pair, okay? Let's uh, just one time repeat the, 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 the conversation, practice the conversation. <laughs> Espero que hayan escuchado cómo se pronuncian las palabras, guys, y que lo hayan practicado con el micrófono apagado y eh, puedan corregir a su compañero. Ok. So, uh, let's see. Repeat after me. Entra Dios. Entra Dios. Pleasure. Pleasure. Huh? Engineer. Engineer. Safety. Providing. Providing. Lisset, Iliana, Marielos, Julio, Luis, Marta, Jonathan, Estefania, Kevin, you had the microphone off. Ay, yo pensé que íbamos a repetir todos esos nombres. Sabrina. <risa> Me agarró en mis cinco minutos. Ay, Sabrina, yo Ya estaba mira. sudando helado. Ya estaba sudando helado. ¿Qué? Now I have the punishment, you said. <risa> ok, continue. Where? 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 Helmet. Where? Helmet. Walk. Helmet. Walk. Yellow. 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 Yeah. Uh, earplugs. Earplugs. Important. Important. Good. Uh, areas. 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 Good. Perfect. So, guys, uh, let's practice together. But before practicing, <clears throat> antes de practicar. Okay, because we will have more time in pairs. Uh, we will let's see the diagram. Okay, we have a diagram here, and this diagram is about Rex Facility. Rex Facility is a company. Okay, identify the different places. Okay, I know that it might be a little bit difficult because of the small letters, but here we have different places in the Rex Facilities. We have production area reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restroom exit and parking. Maybe in your company or in the place where you work guys, they are not the same facilities or they are not the same areas because you might be working in a school, you might be working in a industry, etc. So there might be completely different uh, facilities. So, but, sorry, those are examples about one uh, place, which is rec facility, okay? Uh, why are we studying this diagram? It is because the topic for today is to provide directions and instructions, okay? That's the reason why we need to know the name of the er, a name of the areas of your workplace. Ustedes tienen que saber, guys, el nombre de las áreas de su trabajo para usted poder dar la instrucción o la dirección si alguien llega ahí a su lugar de trabajo y esa persona necesita hablar inglés y ustedes están estudiando inglés, ¿cómo van a conducir a esa persona al lugar correcto? Y tienen que saber también el nombre eh, en inglés de cada área de su trabajo, ¿ok? So, eh, yo sé que estamos practicando esta conversation, pero ahorita que vamos a trabajar en pair, 
Solamente okay. dejarles saber que trabajemos en este diagram identificando los diferentes places. You need to go ahead and match. For example, where is the planning area? Where is it? You tiene que seleccionar y ponerlo, escribirlo ahí. ¿Cuál es el planning area? Puede sí, ser sí. que usted, teacher, I don't understand it, but you try, try to, try to identify the places, okay? Busquen donde está el restaurant, donde está quality control, okay? Try to do it. Alguien dijo aquí. No, no, Sorry, Marcos. No, que lo primero que pregunta es el baño. Uh -huh. ¿eh? Exactly. You know that, that you need to say restaurant, right? Restaurant. So how how would you say this word in English? That's that's a, one of the easiest one, right? But what about el control de calidad, la oficina de eh, del gerente, etcétera. Entonces acá están los nombres para que ustedes al menos tengan una idea y háganme el favor para mañana, guys, de una vez, sorry que les está dando muchas instrucciones en un momento, para mañana traten la manera de buscar en inglés tratar de hacer eh, sacar una lista de los nombres de las áreas de trabajo en su trabajo, valga la redundancia, las áreas en su trabajo en inglés. Traerlas. ¿Cuáles son los nombres en inglés de sus áreas de su trabajo? ¿Ok? Este... Ajá, that would be for Monday. Thank you, Christian. That would be for Monday. So, eh, Rex Facilities. Este es eh, lo, el, el diagrama de Rex Facilities. Ustedes van a tratar la manera de identificar de su compañía, de, su, de la institución de trabajo, de la escuela, etc. Ok, that would be for Monday. Ok, ¿por qué lo vamos a dejar así para que usted lo ocupe en un futuro? Ok, usted necesita saber, ya sabe cómo se dice en inglés. So, um, Después que hagan eso con su pareja, primero practiquen, lo corrigen. Nos vamos a esta uh, exercise number three y traten de identificar the different places. Ok, and then you go back. Ok, luego se regresa y vamos a seguir practicando. Ok, so let's see. Let me share those screenshots to your, to the, um, to the WhatsApp group. So you will know what to do. And let me go through the attendance list, okay? Before you go to the um, breaker range. Questions we about what the, we're going to do? Sorry? The exercise three. Exercise two and exercise three. Mm -hmm. The conversation. The exercise... ah, okay. This one and this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for this, guys, we will have uh, 50 minutes, okay? 50 minutes and then you come back and we will go with the other exercises, okay? So let me make the, the, um, the pairs. Julio, Mabel, Luis, and Kevin, me podrían confirmar que ustedes no están participando por el momento y Maggie. En mi caso, sí, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ok. Gracias, sí. Mabel. Mm -hmm. Thank you a lot. Bye. Entonces, solamente confirmando. Let me go ahead and um, open the breaker rooms. Mm. Guys, whenever you are in the breaker rooms, try to go ahead and speak in English. Why? Because this is the time that you practice. Maybe you don't have more time in your workplace or maybe you don't have more um, time in, the, um, in, in your house. So this is the time of speaking English. If your, if your partner doesn't speak English, continue speaking in English yourself, okay? You continue speaking in English. If the other person is speaking in Spanish, answer in English, okay? Don't switch the language, but keep it in English because in that way you will understand 
I, I mean, you will continue practicing and you will learn. Okay, so try to keep it in English whenever you are in the breakout rooms, guys. Please. So let's start with the assignment here. I'm assigning to you to the groups, guys. Ya los estoy acomodando a todos, a los grupos. Do me a favor and click on join once I assign to you. Take the list. The list, oh my God, yes. The list, regresen. Sabrina, don't go. Espérenme. Voy a traer a Sabrina. No se vayan todavía. Solo traje a, a Yarixa, Iliana y Sabrina. Las demás no le den clic en join todavía. Sorry and thank you. Teacher, for... aquí vengo. Aquí vengo de regreso. No sabía si me tenía que ir ya o tenía que No, no, no. Es que yo la regresé por la lista. Es que se me había olvidado. Thank you. Ah, okay. Sorry. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Uh, Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Uh, Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Thank you. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Smith Smith. Luis Ernesto Present Gómez teacher. García. Thank you. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Marcos Present Antonio teacher. Melgar Pérez. Thank you. Present. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Marielos Janet Cornejo Razo. Present teacher. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Mayarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Le voy a volver, le voy a volver a asignar. O creo que ya están asignadas, solo darle click en join, ¿verdad? Creo que sí. Thank you. Ok, I'm assigning to the groups right now, guys. Allow me to some I don't have group. Yes, I'm still assigning to you. Sorry, todavía los estoy asignando. Guys. Voy aquí en orden. Sorry. One moment. Okay. Keep it in English, guys. Please keep it in English. Okay, guys. Guys, click on join, please. Click on join. Click on join, guys.
No sé si les aparece. Sabrina no le aparece. No, ticha, no me aparece. Quizás como me regresé ah, hace bueno. un momento. No, ah, ya, ya me aparece. Ya me no, aparece. no le de ahorita. A la otra le <risa> Sí, es que la primera no me deja regresar la para el mismo eh, al room, sino que la asigno a otra y la regreso de nuevo. Y ahí sí me deja. Vaya, ahora sí, Sabrina. A Iliana, dele clic en join. Yarixa, no les aparece. No me aparece, ticha. Ticha. La voy a mandar de nuevo para otro. Va a darle ahora, clic en join. Kenny, clic en join, please. Ok, thank you guys. Ok. Hoy eres Walter. Ok. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am pro providing um, some safety introduced today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Where are where uh, help helmet time walk walk uh, between the yellow lines? I um, and don't forget to wear to earplugs earplug all the time. It is important important not to get close to red areas. Okay, Marcos, repeat again. I am, mm -hmm. I am Walter again or? Uh, cambiamos. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor, Selby Engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety introduction today. Uh, tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between between the yellow lines, <coughs> lines, sorry, and and don't forget to wear the air plows all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Air, 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 Eh, eh, empieza ahora yo, ¿verdad? Yeah. Introductions today. Okay. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety 
introduction is today. Providing. Esa palabra. Providing. 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 Link. Providing. Link. Ah. Providing. Pro. Providing. No, escucho e como R I N G. No, como, o sea, la D, la I y la N, pero como con un poquito más de fuerza. Providing. Ding. Providing. 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 Es que la D que está haciendo Cristian. Suena como R. Suena como R porque esa pronunciación se llama flat T o flat D. Entonces es como fad, fa, usted dice later, ¿verdad? Entonces usted lo, lo pronuncia como la, si, por eso usted lo escucha como R, pero al final es una D. Pero usted dice providing, providing, providing. O sea que la D la pronuncia mínimo, usted, pero ya cuando uno de los sonidos es providing. Providing. Providing, providing. Trate Provide. de ponerle la R. Ajá, exacto. Okay. No es R, pero al final ese es el sonido que tiene. Providing. Uh -huh. okay. Providing. Good. Providing son. Cristian ya le puso el punishment. No, mentira. What is the punishment? Ah. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. For the moment, no. Okay, bye guys. If you have any question, let me know, okay? Okay. okay. Hello everybody. I am Mary and I am providing. Okay. Perfect, okay. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety introductions today. Tell us about that, Mrs. Mary. Where they, they help? Como proposing. Va a buscar la palabra. Oh, Va a proporcionar algunos safari. Uh, uh, Ahí quería la seguridad. Ajá, seguridad. Se, proporcionar seguridad. La seguridad. Uh, dice instrucción. Ah, seguridad. Mary. And I am providing some safety instructions today. Well, what about the... Feria con la... The principal place there. Sí. Letter A, letter B. La reception area. Reception area. Reception area. And the reception area. Teacher and the exercise number two is like right inside of the picture. Yes, exactly. The number three, the diagram, writing on the picture to identify mm -hmm. the, the places. Number three, sorry. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome, guys. Um, and send a picture of the group. That will be great. Yes, that will be great. Thank you, Lisa. This 
say a manager office there. There are the auditor office. Perfect quality control. Supplation. Here is a pleasure to in introduce the new floor safari engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mari. Um, Mary. I, I am uh, Mary. Mary. Oh, I am Marielo, su nombre. También. <laughs> I am provide, provide some coffee instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Marielo. We are helping at uh, the time was between the yellow line and do not forget to wear the air plus at the time it is important not to get not to get closer to read ears 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 como era ears okay okay um, Marcos and me. Okay, you you are Walter. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Here is a place to introduce introduce the new floor safari engineer. Uh, hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safari introduce today. Tell us about that, Mr. Marcos. Uh, we are a helmet of the tank. We no, we are we are a helmet of the die. What between what between the yellow line, and um, don't forget to wear the airplane airplane. No thing. All the time, it is important not to get close to the real area. Areas, okay. ¿Qué palabras nos cuesta pronunciar? Eh, me cuesta... Guys, safety. Safety. Ajá, uh -huh, es que a mí me cuesta todas esas. Repeat Stay. that. Safety. Safety. Safety, uh -huh. safety, 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 Earplugs, 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 mm -hmm. Air, earplugs, helmet and earplugs, helmet and earplugs, mm -hmm. helmet, earplugs, ear, earplugs, safety, safety, dijo teacher, safety, safety, earplugs, earplugs. Zafaera. No, Marco, Zafaera, no. Safe, safety. Safety. 
<risa> pero ya sabes esa <risa> parte de que es verdad. Te juro cuando yo decía Zafer y la ticha se reía. <risa> no, no para nada. Como no la vi. <risa> No, no, bueno, qué mal. Safety. Safety. Uh -huh. Muy bien, guys. Good. Y la otra es de identificar los lugares del trabajo que aparecen en el, en el diagrama. Ok. Dicho, pero casi no se ven. Bueno, creo que yo veo malas letras. Veo ¿Y que se repetió, creo que es. ¿Qué quiere decir? Excuse me, Marcos. Cuando dice go ahead, ¿qué quiere decir? Go ahead. Ajá. Adelante, hágalo. Continúa. Adelante, Ajá. continúe. Go ahead. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Entonces, pasemos a la siguiente imagen. Next picture. Go ahead, dígale, Marcos. Go ahead. Ay, uh -huh. ay. <laughs> ok. Entonces, si sí lo hablan mucho con contracciones y ahí es donde uno se pierde. No, sí es cierto. Hi, teacher. I have a question, teacher. Yeah, tell me. Did you finish, no? Yes, tell me. Uh, we... We do the list uh, list of the areas areas to my oh. work in. No, no, yes. I mean, si tienen tiempo, yes, you can do it. Pero si no hasta Monday, um, si no solo pónganlo, ubíquenlo en el diagrama. <laughs> no, no concuerda. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Because uh, in my case, we have a parking front the, <clears throat> in front of the school. And ah, ya le when... entendí. No, perdone que lo interrumpa. Tiene que ser con los nombres que están ahí. Solo, solo ubicar los que ya Ajá, están acá. Solo ubicarlo. Ah, lo, okay. que usted va a traer pa, lo que usted va a hacer para Monday es que usted sí, va a traer que... lo, lo, los nombres en inglés de su diagram, de su lugar de trabajo, para que usted lo sepa, Jaime. Y si en caso ah, okay. de un día, you know how to say them, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces estamos bien, Jaime, como lo estamos ubicando. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, ok, teacher. Ok, okay. guys. Uh -huh. en... <coughs> Entonces. Sí, así era. El, en el letter B, el de par, en el letter E, la park. Restroom. Yes, restrooms. Exit. Y parking. Uh -huh. Y había que identificar algo. And I decía el último párrafo de Mary. Her plus tapones. Ah, oh, así la, la palabra her, her. her ah, her plus. Ah, uh -huh. lista. Uh -huh. Ok. En, ah, sí, solo lo estuvimos diciendo. <risa> Más fácil está. Acaba la, la área de producción, recepción art. No andábamos tan perdidos. No, ajá, es cabal. Office, parking, planning, art, exit, y quality control. Sí, esta se ve como más. Yo más entendible. Ajá. <risa> Sí, está mal. Muy específica. Yes. Solo eso sería, y era más. Sí.
Hello. Thank you for joining back, guys. Hello, hello. Thank you. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Is everyone here? Yes, I believe so. Guys, congratulations. You did an amazing job with the pronunciation session. I could see you were practicing a lot the, the pronunciation and that will help you a lot, guys. That will help you a lot practicing and practicing as much as you can until you get the words and at the end you will use them in the real life conversation, in real life conversations, okay? So, <clears throat> Could you please do me a favor and send me the, your your diagram the way that Lisa did it? I didn't tell I didn't I didn't tell you to send it to me to the group. Sorry that I didn't tell you, but you can send it the way the Fatima and Lisa did it, and we will resolve it together right now. Allow me just a moment. Sorry guys, so let's see. Let's go ahead and identify the areas. Where is the production area, guys? Where is it? Could you please um, give me the direction? Where is the, the production area? You know already the prepositions of places, guys. The production areas, it's in front of the reception area in front of the reception area uh production area is one moment oh no it's back it's, it's behind behind it's gonna be depending of your perspective right but yes it seems to be behind Okay, that is the production area, right? Production area. Where is it? Sorry. <clears throat> I just got confused. Is it here? In front of the yeah, in front of the, the manager, manager office. office and auditor office. Okay, okay, so this is next to the manager office and it is in front of the reception area. So this is the product production area, this one? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, what about the reception area? Where is it, guys? Reception area? Area. Yes, in front of the production area. In front of the production area. It's, it's, near, it's near the restroom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reception area. Okay, great. So where is the planning area, guys? Planning area is next to production. Next to production, next to production area, right? 
planning area. Okay. What about guys? The manager office. Where is the manager office? <clears throat> the manager office is in front of the production area. In front of? Production area. Production area. Okay. Manager. What about the auditor office? Next to the manager office. Next to the manager office. Good. And the quality control? Guy? <clears throat> it's next to the planning planning area. Next to the planning area. And the restroom, guys. <clears throat> mm -hmm. mm. Let's see. Amilka, where are the restrooms? Uh, is the right? Uh, the, the restrooms are? Re uh, the restrooms are next to the reception area. Mm -hmm. yeah. Restrooms. Okay. Um, um, Marcos Antonio, where is the exit? The, the exit uh, next to the area, planning area. Next to the planning area, okay. Or next to the quality control as well, right? Actually, it is next to the quality control and in front of the planning area. It next to the... From. Either or, right? Next to and in front of. So exit, um, Mabel, where is the parking? Uh, the parking Yo creo que me equivoqué ahí, right? Sorry, my yes, mistake. Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, the parking. <laughs> and, um, How do you say that? It's um in, in front to the <laughs> planning area. Good. It's in front of the planning area and next to the reception area. Very good. Good job, guys. So that's the way of giving the directions whenever someone asks you for that, guys, okay? Good job. Okay, let me get one moment and let me clear it, clear it out. Okay, and now guys, uh, we do have this exercise. You are at the parking and you have these questions. Where are the restaurants? Where is the quality control? Where is the manager office? And where is the office? Here we have some vocabulary that you can use, guys. Let's see, we have go straight means go straight. Vaya recto, okay, go straight. Turn left, turn left, turn right. Turn left, turn right, okay? Walk 30 meters, 30 meters, sorry. Walk 30 meters. Walk through the production area. Walk to the production area. Let's repeat after me, go straight. Go straight. Turn left. Turn right. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. Walk ten meters. Walk ten meters. Walk ten meters. 
walk okay. through the production area. Walk through, walk through, through the production, the production area. area. So where's the production area is here, right? So maybe you walk through the production area. That means that you walk here. Walk. Here. Walk through the to the production area. Okay, go straight, walk to the production area, and then you arrive to the reception, reception area. Mm -hmm. That means go straight, right? Go straight or go through the production area, or either you can say go through the planning area. Okay, go through, que atraviesen el, el, la, la área de producción, right? Okay, so let's see. We will have more vocabulary about this. Guys, um, let's see. Let me just verify how can we make this because this is a lot. Okay. Okay, so I got it. I got it. How will we do this with our time? Let me stop sharing and I will share the screen more vocabulary about how to ask and how to answer um, questions about uh, directions, okay? So let me share this for you. One moment, let me chart the computer card, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Here you have. So here we have how to ask for, for and give directions. This is the way of asking for direction and this is the way of giving direction, okay? Um, this will be a great vocabulary for you in case you really need how to, you really need to know how to ask for direction and how to give them, okay? So let's see, let's review all of them. Uh, you can either ask where is, okay, donde esta, where is, how do I get to, como llego hasta allí, how do I get to, how do you get to the, como usted llega a, porque a veces usted pregunta, como llega usted a tal lugar, o como llego directamente, right, where can I find it, where can I find the, okay, for example, let's see, where is the library? How do I get to the library? How do you get to the library? Where can I find the library? Is there a library near here? Um, how can I get to the library from here? Okay. Can you show me the way to get, uh, can you show me the way to the library? Can you tell me how to get to the library? What's the best way to get to the library? Can you give me directions to the library? Is there a library around here? What's the quick, quick, quickest, sorry. What's the quickest, quickest way to get to the library from here? What's the easiest way to get to the library from here? Just see how many ways are for you to ask for direction, guys. And it is the way of asking that question specifically, okay? So um, how would you give the direction? How would you give the direction? That will be depending of the place, okay? That, that's gonna be depending of the place that you are trying to um, provide in the direction. For example, in order to give direction, you say go right, Go right, go left, go down, go down, go up, go through, okay? Turn left, turn right. Take the first to the left or take the first to the right. Go past the restaurant or go past the school. Que pasa en el restaurante, verdad? Vaya y pasa el restaurante and then and you continue. Uh, the library is beside, the library is in front of, the library next is next to, etc. The easiest way is, the quickest, quick, quickest way is to, the best way is to, take, you say dice el nombre de la calle, take the Smith Road, 
for example, take or take the Smith Road, or you can say take the Roosevelt Street. Stay on the Roosevelt Street for. Uh, it's on. It's on the Roosevelt Street. It's across the street. Uh, it's opposite to the park, for example, and it's near to the store. Let's see. So here we have a lot of phrases for you to use them, okay? You can use them, all of them, the ones that best suits for you, okay? So let's repeat after me about asking for direction because this is the more, the more general ones, okay? Let's repeat, guys. Where is the library? Who will put the library there? Where is the library? Could you please repeat? Who is Where's the library? The library? How do I get to the library? How do I get to the library? How do I get to the library? How do you get to the library? How do you get to the library? Where can I find the library? Where can I find Where the can library? I find the library? Is there a library near here? Is there a library, a library near, here? near here? How can I get to the library from here? How can I get to the library from here? Can you show me the way to the library? Can you show me the way to the library? Can you tell me how to get to the school? Can you tell me how to get to the school? What's the best way to get to the supermarket? What's the best way to get to the supermarket? Can you give me that direction to Metro Centro? Can you give me the direction to the Metro Centro? Is there a mall around here? Is there, Is there a, a mall, mall around, around here? here? What's the quickest way to get to Plaza Merliot from here? What's the quickest way to get to Plaza Merliot from here? What's the easiest way to get to the to uh, to the to El Salvador del Mundo from here. What is the easiest way to get to the Salvador del Mundo from here? Very good. Okay, let's see. There's missing 15 minutes, guys. Now uh, it's time to go ahead and try to go ahead and make a conversation, okay? Giving direct. This conversation will be just in your breakout rooms. That's it. <laughs> Practice, okay? In the breakout rooms with this information. Le voy a mandar una captura ahorita o una foto de este, uh, de esta pre, de este slide para que ustedes tengan este cuadrito y traten de utilizarlo en el en la conversación que ustedes van a hacer ahorita. Esta conversación es para que usted la practique no la escriba ni trate de, de que quede bien o que suene bien para decirla después, no, porque ese es el único momento que la van a decir en el break room. entonces trate la manera de preguntar con una de estas maneras que les voy a mandar ahorita, que son las que acabamos de ver una de estas para saber a un lugar específico donde usted quiere ir ¿sí? So, for example, the conversation can be like that. Um, Lisette, could you please help me, Lisette? Sorry? Could you please help me with the conversation? Me ayuda con la conversación que vamos a hacer ahorita. Rapidito. Okay, uh, Lisette, um, what's, uh, sorry, Lisette, let me see. Where can I find, um, a Dollar City store here. Where can I find a Dollar City a store here? And that's it. And then Lisette answer. Okay. Me, me da una dirección de Dollar City. And that's it. That's the end of the conversation. See? ¿Sí? Entonces el propósito es utilizar those directions and how to give 
I mean, how to ask directions and how to give direction with this vocabulary that I have already sent it to you, okay? Are we good, guys? So I'll go ahead and make the breakout rooms, guys. Let's make this conversation in the moment. Improvise at the moment. Improvise en este momento, no copien nada, just practice, okay? Because we have just six minutes to finish. Just six minutes to practice, okay? No Spanish, English only. Let's return to the break, everyone, okay? Okay, I already sent it to you. Let me reassign some of you, okay? Because I can see that some of you, you are not there anymore. Let's see. Okay, guys, click on join, please. Click on join, guys. Iliana, Jessica, Kenny, click on join. Okay. The pharmacy is in Nicolás. Okay. The, the pharmacy is in Nicolás. Is. Is go. Ajá. Is go. No, aquí, así sería. Go the pharmacy. No, no sería así. Go direction right. Go. Mm -hmm. Go right. Uh, before I had to, hello, Marta. Uh, uh, you tell me, uh, hello, Christian. Where is the, for example, where is the, uh, I don't know, where is the, the classroom 10? ¿Dónde está el, el, el salón de clase número 10? Yo le digo, oh, the classroom 10 is, y bla, 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 bla. Así. Ok. Hello, mister. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Where is... Pollo Campero Metro Centro? Do you go? But where, where are you? Where are you? Donde esta? For I have to go, for I have to give a direction, I need to, I need, I, I need to be where do you spend? Where do you stay? Ay, ya me perdí. Por eso le decía que lo hiciéramos así. Como que caso. estamos en el mismo trabajo, en el ah, mismo okay. lugar. Like what? Uh, because, uh, excuse me, uh, it's in front of 
Movistar Store yes. and behind La Tecleña uh, restaurant. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. If, if you um, are work, if you are walking, if you are walking on on the uh, street, you have to you have to um, cross uh, the. Yo estoy tratando. Okay. Uh, uh, do you start ask me, ask with me or, or I ask you? Is the question are uh, the same? La misma que dio la teacher. Hello. Las mismas que creo que tengo muy fuerte. Se escucha como interrupción. Hola. Eh, sí, este. Vamos a hacer las mismas preguntas que, que la teacher nos compartió, ¿verdad? Yes, uh, for example, where is the dollar city? Mm, where is the dollar city? Uh, the dollar city in Santa Ana. <laughs> it's okay. in front the the mall, Metro Centro. Okay. What more? Metro Centro. Metro Centro Santa Ana. Metro Centro Santa Ana, yes. Okay, uh, you ask me, you ask. <laughs> Another place. Um, what's the best way to get to I... You, can, you, can, you can go to Plaza Mundo and, and it is an, a Pizza Hut restaurant and it's beside it's, para decir, está adentro está, it's in Plaza Mundo in Plaza Mundo is an Pizza Hut Sí, yes. Sorry por la música. Sí, es que estoy escuchando, se escucha muy fuerte. Eh, the... Hasta silbadores escucho, oh my God, like Christmas time. No. Son mis sobrinos, son mis sobrinos. Wow. That's good. We hear music, we listen to music every 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 night. Great. Yes. We fall asleep. You never music. get bored, right? You never get bored. That's great. I wish no. I can be in that environment. <laughs> we are we are eight people in one really? That's and a small crazy. house and it's a little in a small house we are eight people wow, and ten good. without the the pet with the pet <laughs> That's there, awesome. here is not privacy we don't have <laughs> privacy <laughs> that's good because you're all your family is together so great yes okay, <laughs> okay guys so we will go back because this time okay i will close all the runs
Hello, guys. Thank you for joining back. We'll uh, wait for the rest of the participants to join so we can finish with the class. Is Jessica here right now? Oh my God, Jessica is not. Oh, yes. I saw her. Okay. You're here. I'm looking for Jessica <laughs> because she will stay with me. Hi, Jessica, don't go. <laughs> okay, guys, so thank you very much for joining back. Uh, we will go through the attendance list right now. So we finished the class. Very good job at the moment of giving direction, guys. On Monday, we will continue with the practice but we will continue with the instructions how to give instructions and we will continue with another topic on monday i hope you have a, an amazing weekend okay and don't forget about making the list of the places that you have in your company or the institution or workplace okay Made the list, guys, of this workplace, of your workplace, okay, or facilities, department, or areas in your workplace. So let's see, Jessica, please don't forget to stay with me in the one on one session, and I will go through the attendance list, guys. I hope you have an amazing weekend and have a great night, okay? Take care, guys. Once I mention your name, you can go out, okay, because time is over. Any question you may have, guys? Any preguntas? No, no questions. Okay, perdone que los moleste. Eh, Julio me reportó que había tenido un problema con el ejercicio. Eh, creo que es el del there is and there are. Si alguien tiene inconvenientes con eso, me lo podría reportar para yo verificar guys, ese error. Yes, teacher, is the um, number three. Number three, nadie lo ha podido That's resolver. And number five, two. I can do it. Number and three the, and number five, I can do it. And the fine, uh, I believe, is, is change the person or the people. Pero nadie le ha salido correcta hasta el momento. No, no puede la número tres, no, teacher. La número tres, ya la hicimos. Ya la trataron. Bye. Entonces lo voy a reportar ese <laughs> fin de semana. Okay. Thank Igual you for yo ya intenté know. por todo, de todas formas y no. Bye, sorry guys. Ah, yo lo reporto, ok. Muchísimas gracias. Me puede nada más, eh, déjeme ver. Bueno, yo les voy a ir preguntando ahí. Que tengan una excelente noche. Cuídense mucho, guys. Voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Y los que vayan diciendo okay. se pueden desconectar, ok. Thanks, teacher. Thanks, bye bye. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Bye. Lisa del teacher. Carmen Hernández Smith. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Bye. Bye. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Bye. Bye. Marcos Amil Carmen Cie Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Bye. Have a good bye -bye. night. Have a good night as well. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Bye bye. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present. Good night. Good night. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Present. Zulma <laughs> Jerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Iliana Cal Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Bye, girls. Cristian José Present. López Pérez. Present. Bye, Cristian. Estela Mabel Oriana de Cid. Present. Good night. Good night. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Julio Cesar Ramírez Arevalo. 
Present teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Kenny Lizette Cuer de Barrientos. Present. Thank Have you. Bye bye. Night. Have a good bye. night. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Um, Jessica Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Thank you, Jessica, for staying here. How are you? Fine, teacher. Oh, great to see you, Jessica. Thank mm -hmm. you for staying. Um, well, okay. the reason of staying here, Jessica, it is because we will make a one-on-one a -on -one session in which I would like to know if there is something that I can help you with your learning process. If there is a practice, extra practice, uh, reinforcement you would like to get about a specific topic that maybe you didn't understand. Um, maybe a tip or a, a, an advice that I can give it to you regarding any skill that is difficult for you. I don't know if there is a skill like maybe speaking, writing, uh, listening, reading, any any um, skill that you find difficult with, or just to give me, if you have any kind of comment, any feedback, let me know so that I can, I can go ahead, we can continue uh, improving, right? And we can get a better, better strategies or better ways to, to keep the, the learning in the class, in the online class. So tell sí. me, Jessica, how can I help you? This Solamente con, con este último uh -huh. ejercicio, teacher, para, para responder, sería exactamente como está ahí, sería un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Me preguntan, where is super selectos? Eh, la respuesta sería, take the first eh, turning, ¿qué es, teacher? Turn? Um, turning. Turning? Mm -hmm. Is that, is torn, but it's with ing. Es el verbo de turn. Ah, ¿Verdad? Okay. Como de, va a ser la izquierda o la derecha. Uh -huh. Pero es en ing. Uh -huh. um, entonces sería en este caso, un ejemplo, take the first turning to the right. Yes, ah, ya, ya le entendí. Me estaba preguntando de uno que está aquí que dice take the Ajá. first, the first mm -hmm. turning, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, es como la primera vuelta a la derecha o la primera vuelta mm -hmm. a la izquierda. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Pero, pero así sería la, la respuesta, ¿verdad? Sí, depende eh, de lo que, de, del lugar, ¿verdad? Ahí va a depender mm -hmm. de del, del lugar y de la, del vocabulario que usted utilice. Pero sí, es ah, básicamente okay. como imperativos los que vamos a utilizar, uh -huh. Jessica. Donde usted no tiene que como decir el sujeto, ¿verdad? Sino que solamente dice como las instrucciones o en ese caso las direcciones, ¿verdad? Como que mire, tome la primera calle a la derecha, ¿verdad? Usted no uh -huh. dice como que usted toma, sino que es como es imperativos. Ah, Empieza okay. con, el, con el verbo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Y este teacher que dice quick, quick, que es quick. Oh, es, la okay. más rápida. Ajá, como la más rápida. Uh -huh. The quickest. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Quickest. Quickest. Ajá, quickest, quickest. Uh, a difficult, quick right? Ajá, uh -huh. es como que se, se escucha una S al final, pero no, ¿eh? Let's see. Sería la T. Quickest. Quickest. Uh -huh. Quickest. Uh -huh. At the end, the T. Uh -huh. Quickest. Ah, ok. Y el otro teacher que tenía uh -huh. dudas era con el, el primer tema que estábamos viendo, del how many, how much. Ah, ok. How many and how much. El, sí. Estamos haciendo como un review del there is and there are, pero estamos viendo como la manera como hacemos WH questions, preguntas mm -hmm. abiertas para there is and there are. Entonces dijimos de que el there is, el 
how many lo ocupamos para countable nouns, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, los nombres contables, por ejemplo, how many doors are in your house, or how uh -huh. many doors are there in your house, right? Y ahí la respuesta va a depender de cuántas tiene. Obviamente, uh -huh. pues no, no todas las casas solamente tienen una, pero si en caso, sí. o sea, si hay un caso que usted tenga solamente un objeto de algo que le pregunte, usted puede responder ya sea con el there is and there are, dependiendo de la existencia uh -huh. de dicho objeto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y el how much nosotros lo ocupamos para nombres que no son contables. Como por ejemplo el que decíamos, how much... Um, coffee, how much sugar, how much, how much water are there? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuánta agua hay ahí? Entonces, pues cuando sí. usted no tiene como ninguna idea, ¿verdad? De cuánto hay, si hay botellas, si hay galones, solo quiere saber cuánta agua hay. Entonces la otra persona que le responda, si sí, le va a dar una medida o le va a dar un número exacto de cuántos hay. Pero como usted mm -hmm. no tiene como ninguna idea, lo tiene que preguntar con el how much y con el there is, o sea, how much is there, no puede decir how much are there, porque como el are solo lo ocupamos para los countables, y lo ocupamos uh -huh. por el the, con el how many, uh -huh. ahí ah, sí lo okay. ocupamos, sí. voy a mandar esa presentación uh -huh. al grupo ahorita, para que sí. la tengan, la de ahora, pero sí, eso básicamente, pero no sé si quedó un poquito pero claro. Pero sí puedo, pero uh -huh. sí puedo responder, teacher, al how many o how much, dependiendo de... De la existencia del producto. De la existencia, Siempre. puede ser there is o, o there are. Exacto, ¿verdad? there is and there are. Porque, uh -huh. por ejemplo, en el how much, yo le puedo preguntar a usted sin tener ninguna idea how much water, do, uh, how much water are there in the fridge, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y usted me puede decir, ya contándolas, usted dice, there are three, bottle of, three bottles of water. Y si no, uh -huh. solamente there is a bottle of water. Entonces, uh -huh. ahí dependiendo también de la existencia, no importa tanto si le preguntan con el how much o el how many. Ah, ok. Okay, sí, ahí me había quedado duda. Que pensé que solo para el how much podíamos responder there is or there, or is. there are. Ah, ah. Ajá. No Tal sé, vez señor. ahí solo en la pregunta se hay restricción, ¿verdad? Que con el how much, uh -huh. how much sorry, se, se ocupa el there is. Uh -huh. Bueno, en este caso is there. Y en el how many, el are there. Ahí sí, ah, porque okay. el order es para countables y el there is es para countables. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Hoy oh, sí, teacher. Pero qué bueno que me está preguntando y siempre, siempre pregúnteme y no se quede con la duda porque al final pues eso no va a ayudar, Jessica. Y de los sí. otros temas, ¿cómo estamos? ¿O de alguna, algo que siente usted que está difícil? de alguna habilidad bueno, que le esté costando algo como le yo le pueda ayudar con ese aprendizaje pues hasta ahorita vamos bien qué bueno Jessica sí. qué bueno saber eso y pues cualquier y la, cosa ahora se, se, se tienen que subir la, las otras actividades ah no 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 fíjese que no. las vamos a subir cada martes eh, ah, antes okay. de la medianoche, por la razón que como comenzamos un miércoles, un miércoles. entonces uh -huh. eh, al final la fecha va a ser, o sea, nuestro viernes va a ser cada martes, ¿verdad? En medianoche. Ah, okay. Okay. Entonces iba a ser como el martes a la medianoche, sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero ahorita es como que fuéramos a un miércoles, ¿verdad? Ah, como uh -huh. en un miércoles normalmente, ¿verdad? Pero okay. sí, este, cualquier cosa, eh, inconveniente que tenga, dígame, de hecho ya me reportaron dos eh, sí, está preguntas, bien. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que están como malas, entonces las voy a reportar porque no hemos, ustedes no hemos, bueno, ustedes siempre me ayudan como a ver cuál intentar con punto, sin punto, con mayúsculas y minúsculas, porque a veces uh -huh. es error tan sencillo. Sí, ¿verdad? también. Uh -huh, entonces... Cierto. Yo creo que a la mayoría intentó y nada, entonces sí lo voy a reportar. Creo que me dijeron las 5 y las 3. Uh -huh. 
Entonces, lo voy a reportar bien eso y cualquier cosa me dice o escribe en el grupo y ahí, cae, ahí estamos a la orden. Gracias de okay, verdad por su okay. tiempo y okay. gracias por decir uh, verdad los, los refuerzos que necesitaba o las preguntas que tenía. Estamos a la orden y no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta o algo como le pueda ayudar. No, Ticha, hola, mamá. Bueno, Jessica, un gusto okay. hablar con usted. Igualmente. Que tenga un Ticha. excelente fin de semana. Gracias. Igual, feliz noche. Buenas noches, adiós. adiós.